want to please me? You know I do, George. Very good. Then place an advertisement in the Times stating that Jane and Michael Banks require the best possible nap at the lowest possible wage. We'd better give them all way to make another mistake. I would stress that. Father, uh, what's that you're holding, dear? We've written our own advertisement. What on earth? Please, George. I think we should hear it. Now and for none of your theatrics. It won't hurt to listen. Wanted a nanny for two adorable children. Adorable? Well, that's debatable, I must say. If you want this choice position, have a cheery disposition. Rosy cheeks, no words. That's the part I do. Tidier than I was expecting. Who's responsible for that? Mrs. Brown. 
keep things neat. Do you indeed? Well, I look forward to making use of that. If there's one thing I appreciate, it's a child whose word I can depend on. Who's he when he's at home? That's Valentine. He's mine. From the look on his face, I'm not sure he'd agree with you. He's just a doll, and I don't want to play with him now. Treat him like that, and he might not want to play with you. Now, the best place I would say to hang a hat is on a hat stand. <coughs> In it. You better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. <laughs> Mary Poppins, how could you know what we wanted in a nanny? When we wrote our list. Your list? I'm not an item in the weekly shop, thank you very much. How did you come then? It was as if the wind just blew you here. It did. Now, stand over there. <laughs> You're making that up. Let <laughs> noisy, mischievous trouble. Thoughtless, short-tempered, and untidy. I don't believe you. Let me see. By the time the wind has blown, the weather will be wrong.
Hey, I'm a screever, and as you can see, a screever's an artist of highest degree. And it's all me own work from me own memory. Oh, Lummy, not these again. Oh, come on, Mr. Constable. It's just me painting sacrifices. There's no harm. I'll be the judge of that. This is my part, and I say you're interfering with the public railing. I won't unmoved this. That is, I... Just you watch it. Just you watch it. Stay right where you are. I know that silhouette anywhere. Mary Poppins! It's nice to see you, Grandma. Well, I must say, you do look swell, Mary. How does he know you? He can't know you. You've only just arrived. I wasn't born one minute before I stepped into your house, my little babes. Have you seen these two before, Bert? I've seen them running about, chasing a kite. It isn't a real kite. So, what do you want to have? Mary Poppins says it's a game. It's called a walk in the park. Some game. I'd rather eat spinach. Come along, Bert. You're due for a break and you promised you'd take me out once we met again. Or have you forgotten? Of course I ain't, Mary, but... Uh... Oh dear, is that all you've got? Never mind. My treat. And no one's charging for the trees in the sky, are they? Mary Poppins, is he really coming with us? Why shouldn't he? Well, to start with, he's very dirty, isn't he? Father would never approve. What's that? You can't come with us. You're too dirty. And besides, we don't want to go to the stinky park anyways. Oh, yes you do. Because when you walk with Mary Poppins, you go to places you've never dreamed of. And if she says it's again, She's got something in mind. You can be certain of that. These are pictures of the Pope, aren't they? Not our Pope. Look, that pea's a much brighter green. And the sky's a different shade of blue. I think you'll find it's just the way I've painted it. All that it takes <coughs> is a spark. And something, plain as a park, becomes a wonderland.
that really happen? Yes, but how? Well, Mary Poppins, of course. How do you know Mary Poppins? She's an old friend of my father's. Your father? You're a statue. You can't have a father. Well, if that's true, why do I miss him so much? Isn't he one of the other statues? <laughs> no, he was very far away from here. Oh. Do you really miss him? Wouldn't you miss your father if you hardly ever saw him? I'll have to think about that. <laughs> What's it like being a statue? It's very difficult. You have to stand very still for a really long time. How long? Forever, until Mary Poppins comes along, of course. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever? And ever? And ever. Oh, that's a long time. I think I can do that. No, you can't. You can't even stand still for one minute. Really, let's see you try. <laughs> that was a good try. Thank you. See, I would stand longer than you could have. That's it. That's where it was. The plinths have emptied. The statue's gone. Do you mean you've lost your marbles? This is your fault, ain't it? I knew we'd have trouble when you first arrived. Now we've got a statue missing. What? Oh, Lummy. <laughs> will you play with us again? Of course I will. I'm not going anywhere. We will see you soon. Goodbye, Elias. Goodbye. Elias was be so lonely. Could his father ever come to stay? Anything can happen if you let him. How long will you stay? We'll see. You won't leave us, will you, Mary Poppins? I'll stay until the wind changes. Well, good night, Shane. Good night, Michael. Good night, Mary. Good night, Mary. Disciplined and stern with toys and girls, you don't refrain. 
Franklin. I fear the Mary Poppins has a lot to learn. Water. Michael, why don't we make the icing? Because 
We don't know how. Don't be so feeble. Get the flower. If Miss Will can do it, it can't be that hard. Is there flour and icing? There's in mine. <laughs> I don't think Mrs. Will will thank you. Then she will be guilty of breaking flesh. Is it supposed to look like that? It doesn't look like that when Mrs. Brill does it. Don't be impertinent and give me the cake. Honestly, Miss Jane was only trying to be helpful if you would just. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Mrs. Brill, go upstairs and get ready now. What have you done? Robertson, I? Robertson, I? Dear, should I call the doctor? I don't think that would be necessary, ma'am. How can you two be so unkind when you know how important this party is? You deserve some very nasty medicine. Just you wait till bedtime. Oh, we don't think we should wait till then, ma'am. Why not go upstairs and get changed? We'll clear up. Won't we? But we are not ill. I won't take it you can't make it. In that, as in so many things, your information is faulty. Open. But it's strawberry ice. I'm not sure I like strawberry ice. I'm not sure I care. Open. <laughs> My cordial! Now, you must get cleaned up at once. I know you like to keep things neat, Michael. Jane? I told you she was tricky. Must we? Kim Robinson, I do it when he wakes up. He is a servant. With that attitude, you get through a lot of staff before you're very old. Besides, <clears throat> in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun.
considered your arguments, but I'm afraid my answer is no. So you're saying you don't recognize a good idea? Perhaps not, but I recognize a good man when I see one. You will regret this, Herr Banks! A man with dreams that life hasn't broken. A man with hopes, ambitions to fulfill. A man who's certain at first glance deserves a chance. Now, Mr. Nutbrook, what exactly could your factory open? Thank you, sir. You won't regret it.
Bert, you've got to be really tough. Of course you can. Getting it to stop is a problem. How do you learn to speak dog? How do you think? Master the grammar? Practice what you can. Ten foid Far too much slang. Well, I can't stand here all day talking shop. Talking shop? What a silly expression. There's nothing silly about it in the least. What do you buy in a talking shop? Conversations, of course. Well, I've never seen a talking shop. Well, there is only one. And it belongs to Mrs. Corey. Who's Mrs. Corey? Who's Mrs. Corey? Mrs. Corey's older than anyone in the whole world. She knew William before he went conquer, flopped before he went to Berlin, and Alexander when he went so great. We'll have to call it a shop in the park. There is no shop in the park. Remember, anything can happen if you let it.
faces, hiding horror shifts. Yeah! Yes. 
downstairs tonight, Mary Poppins. Mr. Banks is quite exhausted. Perhaps you could keep them occupied? I hope you haven't forgotten, ma'am. But tonight's my night out. What? Dear, I had forgotten. I suppose the best people wouldn't ask you to change your plans? No, ma'am, they wouldn't. I thought not. That's not fair! Janet has just come and we should have been in the nursery! Did you speak? And I... 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 Hey, 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 instant! I will not have you criticize your father! Why not? He criticizes you. Last week he said you were neither use nor ornament. How dare you! I heard him say them, so did you! Sometimes people say things they don't mean. Take the children upstairs, please, Mary Poppins. George! What is it now? I thought you might like to talk about it. What would be the point? Perhaps I could help. Don't be ridiculous. I'm serious, George. If you have troubles, I'd like to share them. Don't worry. You will. The fact is, I've been suspended without salary until they decide what to do with me. Trees and centers, ups and downs. One moment smiles, the next moment frowns. Her bad tempered faces, it better change quick. Cause if the wind changes, the face just might stick. Chim chim honey, chim chim, tree chim cho.
day, no hardly no night. This sings off in shadows in our ways in light on the rooftops of London. Surprises at the best of times. Not this one, George. I do believe you're going to be proud. 
never enjoy travel. You must be poor George's wife. Your flower beds are disgracefully untidy. Take my advice. Plant evergreens, or better still, have nothing there at all. Just a plain cement courtyard. <laughs> but, uh, dear Miss Andrew, I am so fond of flowers. And you are a very silly woman. Where did George go? He, um, I'm afraid he had an urgent appointment, for which no doubt he was late, as usual. It's not much of a house, is it? Oh, we like it. Then it doesn't take a lot to keep you happy. Look at the dust. There. And there. Phil! Oh, well, we are rather <laughs> short-staffed at the moment. Hasn't anyone ever cleaned those curtains? Uh, now, just a minute! Ah. Uh, you must be the children. Pity. I don't suppose you know who I am. Yes, we do. You're the Holy Terror. <laughs> Impudent boy! <laughs> You're Jane, I suppose. Why aren't you wearing shoes? I don't like them. Tut! What manners! I can see there's not a minute to lose. These children have been spoiled. I've arrived here just in time. By chance, I brought the punishment that best befits the crime. Brings down and treat all in godly royal liberal doses of each. These are the treats from which children recoil. The lessons I'm going to teach. Just follow my model and don't molly coddle. It may be the irksome to work. Just so happens I'm a chimney sweep. So, what's the matter? 
And who's after you? The nastiest nanny in the world. The nastiest nanny in the world, eh? Well, you two should know. You've been through enough of them. She really is bad as well. She looks like something that would eat its young. Cassandra <laughs> was daddy's nanny. Which explains a lot. Poor daddy. Ever since he stopped working, he just sits and mopes. Mary Poppins used to say he needed our help. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I tell you what, why don't we start things off with a bit of a shake? For good luck. Why would she be here with you, Big Slug? Didn't anyone ever tell you? It's lucky to shake a chimney sweep's hand. But what do you do if you want some luck? Ah, uh, well. Not. We have 
She didn't give a reason, ma'am. Peculiar. So, Mary Poppins, now that you're back, are you going to stay? I'll stay for as long as necessary, ma'am. Because the last time you were here, you left without a word of warning. How do I know you won't do it again? You don't. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, Constable, I am so sorry to have bothered you, but it's quite all right. You're back now. Not ma all of them, ma'am. What? We found this one wandering in the park. Good night, ma'am. George. Where is she? Is Andrew, she left. Left? But how? She might have thought we were rude. Rude? To Miss Andrew? Well, I can't forgive it, but I try to forget. In fact, I'd have given you sixpence if I had one. Uh, George, you haven't noticed Mary Poppins is back. Is she? Mary Poppins, well, well. I wonder if I might have a word. There's no point in beating about the bush. Things have not gone well for us since you left us, and... I will just, sir. I won't take any just now. I should prefer to let them accrue. But Mary Poppins, if you only knew how many payments were accruing as it... Is everything settled? Yes, I'd like to get started as soon as possible. Jane Michael Spitzbot. <clears throat> Come along, darling. So you made one mistake, but how bad can that be? After so many years of good service, what's the worst that can happen? Winifred, if I am to be dismissed by the bank, we'll be destitute. The servants will leave, the house will be repossessed, and we'll be outside with the children sitting on the frosty curbside. Yourself. Not us so much, but our troubles. They seem 
so big down in the new city. But up here... Yeah, it's more like it. Troubles are never so bad when you look at them from a little high up. You always remember. There's plenty of folk around to help should you need them. Who? Chim chim honey, chim chim honey, chim chim tree. No guardian angels you don't often see. They're not high fluting, the grand nor aloof. Nah, they're covered in soot.
say good night. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, good night. Daddy, do we, you remember when we came to the bank? Yes. Well, we were each given a sixpence, and we were told to spend them carefully. Excellent advice. That's exactly what you should do. What did you buy with them? Nothing yet. We kept them, and now we decided to give them to you. I suppose Mary Poppins put you up to this? No, she hasn't said a word about it, but we know it's been difficult for you lately, and we haven't really been much help. So we thought a bit of extra cash might loosen things up a little. It's a whole shilling! Thank you. Good night, Daddy. We do love you, you know. Jane, do you remember you once asked me who Elias' father was? Yes. It was Poseidon, king of the sea. Good night. Mommy, Daddy's really worried, isn't he? Yes, he is, but remember that he loves you very much, and that's far more important than jobs or houses or anything else. Are you going to the bank with him? I wish I could, but he won't let me. If only there was someone there to speak up for him. To take his part, to show them what he's really like inside. Why can't he do that for himself? Because he's a man and a very proud one. Then you must go. I'd like to, but I'm afraid it just isn't possible. Why not? Because I'm a woman. Mary Poppins says anything is possible if we can only get out of our own way. Do you really believe that, Mary Poppins? Washout. 
but I'm afraid I do value it, good sir. In short, George Banks Esquire has rediscovered the human race. I apologize for ruining the bank, but I do not apologize for understanding that there are more important things in life than making money. Ruining the bank. Ruining the bank. Ruining the bank. My dear chap, you've saved our bacon. Von Hussler's scheme is ruining our rival. You've kept us out of the nastiest scandal since records began. I don't want your apologies. I'm offering mine. Oh my word. And another thing. Do you remember giving a letter to a fellow called Northbrook? Well, he's repaying it and opening up two new factories at the center you negotiated. We look set to make our fortune. Oh, my word. Well, that's just it. I was hoping you would give me the word. Tell me how you did it. I assure you it'll be quite safe with me. Give, give you the word. Give you the word. I'll give you the word, all right. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, the simple say it not enough with all the sound of ghosts. Super catabolic, it the anecdotes. Oh, sir, thank you, now, thank you Max. so much. Look at him, it's not his fault. It's all because of his nanny, Miss Andrew. The Holy Terror! <laughs> <laughs> she taught me everything I know. And <laughs> now's your chance to forget it. That's right. And if you want to fight about it, you've come to the right woman. No, no, it's all right. It's all right, darling, darling. It's all right. I haven't lost money at all. I've made the bank a fortune. Really? Madam, if you please, we still have some business to conduct. Well, Banks, by way of recompense, I would like to offer you the position of senior manager with the salary W. Oh, exactly. How much has he made for you? Triple. Mm. Quadruple your current rate. Close your mouth, George. We are not a codfish. <laughs> well? I accept. But you must understand one thing. From now on, my family comes first. Agreed. Winfred, I'm afraid I've underestimated you. How can you forgive me? How can you ask? It was wrong of me to keep you off the stage. You want to go back and... I won't mind if you do. No. I loved it, but I found a role I much rather prefer. And it's going to keep me extremely busy for a very long time. There are the stars! I want the constellations too. Do you indeed? I want to even ask for the moon as well. Mary Poppins. Helios and Poseidon will live happily ever after. Think we'll ever go up there? Yes, someday. Really? Will it be soon? No, oh, no, not for a very long time. Until then, you can keep an eye on the stars. Here. But it's your telescope. So it is. Keep it if you'd like. It's a present. Thank you. Now run along, and it's getting cold. I love you, Mary Poppins. You're a fine boy, Michael Banks, and one day you will be a fine man. Oh, Mary Poppins, it makes me so anxious when you speak like that. Like what? All kind and gentle and not a bit like you. Be cross, Mary Poppins. Do be cross again. Is that the face for the trouble I've taken? That's better. <laughs>
What's happened? Something's changed. Look! It's a man coming to lock it. Oh, the chain's broke. Don't you remember? I'll stay till the chain breaks. There's a note, too. What does it say? Jane, Michael had the telescope, so this is for you. It's a picture of the three of us. And she signed it. From Mary Poppins, with a good deal of love. Mary Poppins? She's gone. Gone? Why? She'll be back. Now, what do you think of this? It's the best I've ever seen. Could we fly together? Oh, Daddy! <laughs> Mary Poppins won't be coming back. She's gone forever. My dear, how could you possibly know such a thing? Because we don't need her. Not anymore. None of the families will. Won't they, Daddy? They will. Do you think she's right, George? That we really could do without a nanny from now on? You know what I think? I think you'd better come dance with me. George, this is serious. Star? Here, take my telescope. I was right. Wish on it, children. My dearest love. We won't forget you, Mary Poppins. We'll never forget.
one goes out to the reddest guy I know, Ariana. <laughs> Thank you. 
met a man who's worked so hard for his students. This man has been eating, sleeping, and breathing Mary Poppins since this time last year. <laughs> um, and to thank him for it, we got an autographed picture of Dick Van Dyke.
I've never met a man who's worked so hard for his students. This man has been eating, sleeping, and breathing Mary Poppins since this time last year. <laughs> um, and to thank him for it, we got an autographed picture of Dick Van Dyke.